what is happening in maharashtra is absolutely uh, it's, a, it's a confusing thing uh, on july 2nd uh, ajit pawar had called a meeting of ncp mlas at his residence at his official residence He's, he was the leader of opposition of maharashtra legislative assembly now uh, initially the uh, initially the message was the meeting was conveyed to pressurize ncp leadership in a bid to ensure that, that ajit pawar becomes the next a state chief of the party so the, the he had made that demand uh, around a month ago and there was no action but suddenly by afternoon the ncp mlas were asked to join and come to raj bhavan the governor's uh, residence and um, uh, just like in the repeat of 2019 ajit pawar was sworn in as uh, the deputy cm of maharashtra along with eight other senior members of the ncp and uh, the names uh, are really were really surprising for many because all of them were considered as extremely close to sharad pawar and not only close but also they were anti ajit they were from the anti ajit pawar group of the ncp prior to this so it was very surprising for all that uh, ajit pawar took this step now uh, how the things have unfolded in last 3 4 days it has emerged that the plan was uh, uh, it was a very well planned move uh the planning was going on for months and uh, we have reasons to believe that sharad pawar was well aware about what was happening in his party but it uh, it was uh, he could not stop it uh on, on sunday when the meeting took place uh, supriya sure had gone to ajit pawar's official residence in a bid to persuade him not to go ahead with his decision but uh, ultimately it seemed i mean as we all see now uh, she failed to do so and ajit pawar stick to his plan and decided to go ahead and join the maharashtra government all were thinking that the move happened on july 2nd but as i told you before that it was well planned move three two days before uh, the ncp faction led by ajit pawar had moved to the election commission of india taking claim on the national party name and also the symbol they had also written to the uh, election commission of india saying that they have removed sharad pawar as the president of the ncp with overwhelming majority of legislators and members of the organization now since they have removed they had removed ajit uh, sharad pawar from the president's post uh, uh, they had appointed praful patel as the working president work, national working president and uh, later they changed chan patel as uh, uh, from the state uh, state unit chief post and appointed sunil tatkare there so it was a uh, uh, i mean they, they were prepared because they had an exam uh, exactly a year ago if you if you re, if you recall uh, the same things were unfolded exactly a year ago in maharashtra but that was in case of shiv sena so uh, right. this our group has taken lesson from what has happened or uh, what has happened in the past one year and they have uh, they, they have tried to ensure that there there are no legal loopholes in their move but uh, mm-hmm. ncp has also filed a caveat in front of the uh, election commission of india saying that they should also uh, i mean the jain party and sharad pawar group has uh, filed the caveat saying that they should also be heard before eci deciding anything on the symbol or party name hmm. uh, the reason behind ajit pawar doing this is that uh, you know uh, the uh, he wants to he wants to portray it as a move by the party and not by a fringe group within the ncp so uh, maybe according to the group uh, according to uh, ajit pawar supporters that it will give legitimacy to what they have done and in a, uh, mm-hmm. ajit pawar in his speeches and in his inter, in his press conferences and, and he has tried to say that sharad pawar also in the past was in talks with the bjp he had joined hands with the shiv sena so what is wrong in we going and going ahead and joining the government led by the bjp so uh, it's 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 basically an attempt to overtake the party and also to give legitimacy to his move uh, okay. just to, okay. uh, to you know now since uh, sharad pawar is going to uh, has decided that he will challenge uh, he will tour the state he will not let symbol and party name go to ajit pawar hmm. so there is going to be legal battle uh, perception battle everywhere um so ajit pawar has taken lead in that initially we uh, uh, we thought that uh, ajit pawar group will give out the names of you know all the mla supporting him but they haven't given officially haven't given yet so what we have right now is around 29 to 30 mlas out of 53 are supporting okay. ajit pawar 
Uh, out of 53, Nawab Malik is presently in jail. So there are 50, effectively 52 MLAs. Uh, uh, we know, we can never know what uh, Nawab Malik's uh, stand is until he comes out. And uh, yesterday's in Ajit Pawar's meeting, there were around 29 MLAs present. In Sharad Pawar's meeting, there were 16 MLAs were present. And one of one of the MLAs who was supported, uh, who has given support to Ajit Pawar, uh, Sharad Pawar, was not present. So the number is 17. It's, it's very hard to, you know, predict uh, how much time it will take because as we know, in case of Shiv Sena, it, it took almost 11, 10 months. Uh, of course, this, uh, and there are no, uh, there are no elections right now. So, of course, election commission will have to, since the caveat has been filed, election commission will have to hear both the sides. There will be, uh, uh, there will be uh, claims and counterclaims. Also, both the sides have started uh, taking affidavits on, uh, of party workers saying that they they belong to Sharad Pawar group or they belong to Ajit Pawar groups. So because so it's it's all these all two both the sides are well prepared for the legal battle and we cannot predict how much time it will take. And I, I must add that Praful Patel, who's from the Ajit Pawar group, has been saying from day one that this will be decided by the ECI. So they were prepared from day one that the battle will go to the ECI. And uh, uh, maybe they're confident or uh, what I, I can't comment, but uh, they, they, they have been saying this, that the ECI will decide on symbol and uh, party. The Shinde faction, I mean, uh, the Shiv Sena, led by Eknath Shinde, they have, uh, the MLAs from their group have expressed displeasure over Ajit Pawar joining the camp. Uh, the re I mean, it's very pretty obvious because there is no cabinet expansion in last 10 months. Uh, they were hopeful that they will get cabinet birth in this cabinet expansion. But now since the NCP has come and they have been given nine portfolios and all those are very senior members. Out of those nine, five were former minister, two were dep former deputy chief ministers. So uh, it is, uh, I mean, they will get good, uh, better portfolios. And of course, the uh, the disappointment is very visible from what is happening in the Shinde faction, uh, Shinde Shiv Sena. They held a meeting last night. There was a, there, there's a report that, uh, which is, uh, the report has come out in the Lok Sata, the Marathi, uh, uh, Marathi paper of Express Group, that there was actually physical altercation between two MLAs. And uh, okay, so uh, and uh, there were reports that Eknath Shinde might even resign, but I don't think mm. that is happening anytime sooner because we can't just go and predict anything. We just have to wait and uh, right. to see things unfold. But it, it is it is very visible. We can see that uh, the Shinde faction is not happy. Uh, if you ask about BJP. Of course, there is discontent in the BJP as well because the loyalists within the BJP are being sidelined continuously. First, it was for Ekna Chinde and now it is for NCP. So if you see uh, legally, Maharashtra can have 42 ministers and plus one chief minister, so 43. Uh, out of this, uh, 20 plus 29 uh, posts are already filled. Uh, what remains to be seen is what who gets what now. And the battle now is to get the ministerial birth. So, of course, there is uh, discomfort, there is discontent. Mm. I would say Congress uh, has found an opportunity to grow after 25 years. Like in 1990, 1999, when, uh, since 1999, when NCP was formed, the Congress was, uh, you know, marginalized in certain sections of uh, Maharashtra. And with uh, this weakening of NCP, the Congress has found an opportunity to grow. Uh, former Chief Minister Ashok Chavan even said that it is now Congress time. It remains to be seen. The problem with Congress is they they, they have an opportunity opportunity and everything that is fine. But uh, the problem is whether they have a leadership who can cash in on this opportunity in the state. I'm saying, are they is that leadership prepared to go aggressively against the state government to become the main opposition? We haven't seen that. That is the main problem that Congress is facing, the leadership issue. And until and until Congress solves that problem, uh, uh, opportunities may come. They may come in the future. They may, the, the opportunity has already come. But uh, you can't, uh, it's, it's very difficult for the party to cash. In.